please see this, keeping his arms speed and legs in the boat for our entire trip and supervise all children on board. After all, we are about to be swallowed by a giant blue whale. Dun, dun, dun. But don't worry guys, this here is Monstro, he's the same blue whale that once swallowed Geppetto and Pinocchio. Pinocchio was so clever, he lit a fire inside Monstro's belly that made him sneeze so hard, he blew his own tail right off. And lucky for us, it's created our very own entrance into Storybook Land. Rose. Really? I don't want pictures. On our left hand side, you'll see the cave of the big bad wolf who's been huffing and puffing and trying his hardest to get across to the other side, to the homes of the three little pigs. One made of straw, one of sticks, and one made of 100% wolf proof bricks. <laughs> Just around the river bend on the left will be the quaint English village of Alice from Alice in Wonderland. She often spent her golden afternoons daydreaming here until one day she followed the white rabbit down, down, down into those wacky adventures in Wonderland. In the center of the canal we have London Park, the same park that Wendy, John, and Michael Darling flew over. Following Peter Pan, second start of the run, and straight on to morning in the Neverland. Now straight ahead is the city of Agrabah. At the top of the hill is the Sultan's Palace, and down below is that busy marketplace where Aladdin and Abu first met the beautiful Princess Jasmine. Our romantic tale of Aladdin and Jasmine continues as we sail below the very same twinkling rose-covered arches that they flew over, under, and sideways on their very own magic carpet ride into a whole new world. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on that magic gold lamp, the blue genie just might grant you three wishes, just like he did for Aladdin. <laughs> just around the river bend on your right hand side is the cottage of the seven dwarves. Where Snow White is busy inside baking gooseberry pies for her seven friends as they whistle while they work. On your left is the French Chateau, where Cinderella once lived with her evil stepmother and two horrible stepsisters. But she doesn't live there anymore. She now lives on top of the hill in that beautiful castle with her Prince Charming, happily ever after. over 20 different types of desert plants and flowers. In case you're wondering, all the plants here in Story the Land are completely real, and they only grow up to about one inch per year. Right next door is the not-so-humble home of his friend, Mr. Toad. 
It doesn't look like anybody's home right now. He must be off on some wild rides from nowhere in particular. Also on the left are the three Dutch wood mills from the Silly Symphony cartoon, The Old Mill. And straight ahead beneath the majestic Matterhorn is that Alpine village where Geppetto first carved his puppet made of pine, Pinocchio. He later went on to wish upon a star and ask for some help from the Blue Fairy in hopes that Pinocchio would soon become a real live boy. On our right hand side, you'll see Prince Eric's Palace by the Sea. And down below is that sandy shore where he first laid eyes on Princess Ariel. And if you look through the waterfall, you can catch a glimpse of the city of Atlantica where Ariel grew up with her father, King Trayton, and her friends, Wilder and Sebastian. But folks, like all of your stories, are as much come to an end. So as we first put off, Please remain seated and count my count of three. When I count three, we'll all stand up at the same time. Thanks for joining us here today at Stories of Land and may all your dreams.